Hello my fireflies and welcome back to the Cyan Firefly. My name's Layette and today we're going to have a look at Stealth Bastard by Curve Studios. Stealth Bastard is a free to play stealth based platform puzzler and is a whole lot of fun. So what's the story here? Well, you take the role of the Stealth Bastard, otherwise known as the Tactical Espionage Arsehole, and you must infiltrate an area of some sort. Why? Well, I have no clue. The story isn't exactly explained here. All that's really apparent is that you want to break in here, this place has some really advanced and convoluted defenses, and whoever is writing the graffiti on the wall that tells you what to do is a condescending bastard. The actual gameplay has you parkouring around while avoiding various tricks, traps, and enemies. Other than the ability to grab ledges and push adorable wheeled robots, you have very little at your disposal other than the power of your own mind and the ability to hide in dark areas. You have two indicators of how well you are hidden, which are your goggles and the small square at the bottom of the screen. Red means you are in full light and enemies can see you, so prepare for a laser to the face. Yellow means that it is lightly dark and enemies will become suspicious of your presence and try to track you down. Green means you are completely invisible and enemies will not see you, unless they run into you. Then you can eat a laser. I really like the graphic style and the chiptune style music. It actually really kind of fits this whole futuristic sneaky game and it really aids in the overall gaming experience. It's basic, sure, but it fits and gives this whole game a really unique sense of character, especially the block bots. Just seeing their depression brighten up into delighted excitement at your presence makes the whole ordeal of dying repeatedly so worth it. There really isn't much else to talk about here, other than the fact that it's actually pretty difficult to solve each stage. It requires a very good combination of analytical skill, reflexes, and problem solving that some people might just have trouble with. That said, the game is free to play, so you aren't really wasting anything by giving it a try. I've linked the webpage for the game down below just in case you want to have a go at it. You really aren't risking anything by doing so except for perhaps adding a few hours of fun and humor to your life. Alright, that's all the time I have for this particular title. This has been Lyats with the Cyan Firefly, off to piss off a few more cop bots. I'll see you next time.